So late last year, Mobile Strike contacted us and asked us to make an awesome video for their game. Of course, since we like blowing things up and making awesome videos, we said yes. The filming of this video actually took place in two different days. The first day we filmed in this really cool uh, apartment in downtown Salt Lake City that was on like the 13th floor or something. It was really nice, really modern looking. It allowed us to make it seem like Rennie was just like this modern everyday woman who was about to experience what it was like to command a battlefield from her glasses and her phone. On the first day of filming, there were some small complications and things that we had to do in order to get this film to look the way we wanted it to. Uh, we had to basically set scenes up with our own lighting to make it seem like daytime because we lost our daylight halfway through shooting. So we ended up having to use lots of um, Kino Flow light kits and green screen to make it look the way we wanted to. And in the end, the end result we got was you would never be able to tell that half of the shots in that commercial were filmed at night in that building as compared to daytime, which is really cool. So after everything was said and done, we packed up all of our gear, we went home for a nice two or three hour nap, and then we packed back up and headed out to the middle of Utah to film day two. I'm, come on. I'm rolling right now. Come on, the BTS thing. Like, we need you, come here. Where are you? I've had like two like hours of sleep. I know you have. <laughs> Anytime that uh, you talk action or military to me, I get really excited because I have had to get tactical training for other projects that I've done in the past. So I've learned how to shoot, I've learned how to clear locations, and I don't know, there's something about it that's just like really badass, I guess. Um, just makes me feel really, makes me, makes me feel really cool. We, uh, we went to bed last night at, what, 3? 3.30. 3.30, yeah, 3.30, yeah. uh, 4 o'clock-ish, and uh, we got up at 6, so got enough sleep to consider this a 24-hour film festival. <laughs> we hired my friend Dewey Beck, who was actually a Marine uh, for a while, and he brought some of his friends from the Marines. Hey guys, I just want to introduce my friend, good friend Dewey here. We've got Ray and Chad. Tell me about your past history and why you're here today. I was able to grab a couple of Marines that I served with. One was uh, Chad. Chad was a corporal at, at 223, 2nd Battalion, 23rd Marines. Uh, Utah's first casualty was actually was one of our Marines. Right. And then Ray Pinicate, Corporal Pinicate. Uh, Ray was at a reconnaissance unit in Hawaii. Um, these two uh, amazing gentlemen were able to join us on this uh, the shoot today. And they bring a lot of, not just Hollywood looks right. and <laughs> an amazing acting ability, but uh, a lot of fun and brevity to the set. So we've had a great time. Amazing. It's actually a nice uh, memory for us to be able to come back together and and, and not be uh, and, and be in a non-hostile environment, but able to use our skill sets for uh, another another application. Thanks, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Really appreciate Thank it. You. We appreciate it. I think we all had a really fun time putting on those boots and putting on our kit and holding our, our guns and running around pretending like we were in a video game. So life doesn't get much better than that. And that's all we have for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. We have some really big projects coming up, so don't forget to click that bell button down below and stay tuned for more awesomeness. Thanks for watching.